three, two. Good evening and welcome back to Halcyon 6. I'm Odia Paradis. We have a research going on right now at the Starbase. You're not a research, but a task. And we have our new uh, cadet, our new crewmate, our new uh, officer, uh, Raintree, scouring officer candidates trying to find their next uh, wingman. Um, they have one day left on that. Let's just force that forward here. We have a situation developing over here. Okay, acknowledged. Uh, we can promote our next officer. So let's take a look at that and see what we have for candidates. So we have, uh, let's see, she is a science officer. I mean, she either needs engineering or tactical. And we have someone that's very similar to, well, let's see. I don't like either of these guys, actually. The death from above is okay, has a, has a risk to it. Self tune-up is not really useful because it's only on self. And uh, supercharged polarity, I don't really know the benefits of that one. Um, a taunting attack increases your ship's threat by 100 and damage resistance by 15. So it's like a taunt attack, it's, it's damage pointed at you. These guys have usually super strong hulls, so that's the reason for that. I guess that that and that go in, par in hand then. Use supercharged polarity, get all the damage directed at you, and then use quick tune-up to cure yourself. Yeah, I can see the benefits of that. Um, Alright, let's give, let's give Riley Fam a try here. We have to need to rename Riley Fam. Um... All right, so let's select that officer here. And uh, Riley has joined up. We'll need to think of a better name for him eventually. Let's get him a ship, though, and get him on his way. Not constructing, though. And thanks to last episode's uh, research, we he's going to have to fly the Dramanator. Oh, no, no, he's going to have to fly the the uh, Oktoberfest. Okay, that's fine. Assign the officer, Riley. And uh, thanks to the upgrades from last episode, we have level four on him already. So that means we have four upgrades to give him, or three upgrades to give him right away here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to give him death from, not death from the above. I'm going to give him a quick tune-up and supercharged polarity, because those go hand in hand. And then uh, we'll uh, maybe wait on the last one to see what we want to do here. Let's see. Personal magnetism. What is this one? Toughen your defenses while, fire, while drawing fire. So this is kind of a taunt also. Um... Single enemy, electrocute, and self. So he's got very similar attacks to, to his, his, his air game uh, on his ground game here. Let's give him uh, a little more healing for himself. All right, and those things go hand in hand too. So that'll be kind of interesting. Okay, cool. Welcome to Riley. Let's take a look and see what his uh, bio says about him. He was... Uh, Riley fam gained the attention of Federation Command after fighting off a hive of vicious space insects that infiltrated his facility. Facing off against Insects Queen, equipped with nothing but a cargo mecha. All his attempts to describe the incident to friends have been dismissed as him conflating his own experience with an iconic scene from the 20th century. Um, yeah, <laughs> so he's, he's, he's obviously uh, uh, citing aliens as his personal history. I think that's that's pretty funny, actually. Um, is that is that uh, Ripley? Is that let's go? Let's change it to Ripley. There he goes. He gets, he gets to he gets to he gets to live up to his namesake, um, and then we can actually scour for one more. But it's gonna take up all of our officer pool. I think we'll have to send some guys out. Veteran officer training. Yeah, that'd be amazing. All officers get up to level ten. Uh, oh no, that's level seven. His commander, I believe. That'd be cool. We need an officer to level ten to do that. Um, and retention drills will help us level up more. Well, how's long that's gonna take? How's that long will that take to research? Sinex would take five days, Sturmy would take seven days, for Drob it would take eight days. So, unfortunately, Sinex has to do all the work around here. Um, I don't think we're going to spend the time to doing that right now, though. We have other things to do around here. Uh, should we let our new and improved runabout go out and collect some of this stuff? And then meanwhile, we'll send our A-team around to New Terra, maybe? Hmm, that's an idea. Uh, we will have a massive fight on our hands there. But it has to happen eventually here. Um, let's send them around quick to cut their teeth on... Let's see, we got a pretty easy enemy here. Eh, more or less. I think we should send the main fleet for these guys, actually. The A-team, heal them all back up. Um, just because it's we only have two ships right now. We'll launch them. And then we'll also pause it and send the other ship out, the runabout out, to... Uh, collect some other stuff around here. So we'll go eight uh, supply runabout, add a ship to this, the Oktoberfest, um, and we'll rename it the, uh, the B team. 
So no longer no longer the runabout. Now they're now a team. Um, let's launch them out here and transfer that fuel, and then we'll let them uh, let let them cut their teeth at the portal here. How about that? Once we have the third ship here, I just want to get a little bit more officers on hand before we do that. This battle won't be anything of a big deal, especially for these guys. This is going to be over in a matter of minutes, at the very least here. So resisted the disable. Let's try it again here. Keep him offline if we can. There we go. Ship disabled. Now we have to take care of this guy. Ship disable him as well. We'll never let him get attacking edgewise. And this is the power of level two ships, my friends. And this is a little warm up. Her first little, a little morsel for the day here. Let's take him out real quick with extreme prejudice and no remorse. Oh, and he missed. <laughs> you get one shot, buddy. You got one shot this round, and you miss it. Oh, boy. He's, gonna, he's probably going to get one more shot still, at least. Um, maybe. Maybe. It's going to get pretty close here. Uh, we're just going to save this one for a minute from now. Um, let's just keep with the flak rod here. Especially if we're taking no damage here. We might just head over to New Terra right away here. Uh, let's try this. Let's heal back. He's gonna get another move now. Hopefully, dodge it. Or go after him so we can heal it back. That'll be good. Just keep doing the main attacks. Miss. There you go. Um, let's do this and maybe we get another turn here. Nice. I just wanted to give him the chance to heal him back completely so we're at 100% for the next battle. Nice. We did it. Uh, and then damage over time will take him out, but that's actually perfect. Wow. Flawless victory? Not quite, but 100% victory for sure. All right, so transfer the crew and uh, leave. And then we'll keep with the runabout going around here. Um, so I'm just going to gather some supplies here quick. Try to get ourselves up to tier three almost. And then we're going to head to New Terra here in just a minute. So Commander, their fleet is starting its approach now. I'll provide you with the visuals. T minus 15 seconds. 14. Arriving now. Commander, it is as we feared. New Terra is no more. Only a shell of the former capital. Now caked in a mysterious emulsion. We're running a scan on the cruel fleet now, Commander. The planet itself seems to be spawning a kind of cruel vessel we haven't seen before. The scan revealed an amorphous, self replicating, semi liquid, similar makeup to the emulsion of the planet itself. So that's what this guy is here, the seedling. Should we engage or return to Halcyon 6, destroying the fleet would allow us to look for potential survivors in the system, while retreating would leave them to the cruel. Let's attack them. We're not turning back this time. Um, we can do protective field, though, to avoid any kind of really big damage here. These guys are not that bad compared to some other stuff we fought so far. I still am wary, though. Let's try to disable this ship right away here. Stop it from coming at us. If we can. Resisted it, unfortunately. Ooh. Ooh. He's got a nice big, nice big area attack. Uh, let's keep going after that one. I don't like that attack, actually. <laughs> Jeez, uh, let's not heal it back just yet. Oh, we'll let's keep trying to knock this ship offline here. Looks like it worked that time. All right, now that that ship's off the line, we can start thinking about other things here. Now, from previous playthroughs, I know this isn't the only fight we have to do here today. So I'm going to actually... Uh, not use our massive, massive all hit all attack we can use for the uh, for the successor here. We're gonna hold off on that and save it for the next battle if possible. Um, there's like two or three we need to get through here, and I want to make sure we have every tool at our disposal to deal with the next rounds because they get harder from here. This one's not so bad. Seed Cedar went down just fine. That's a pretty decent attack, but um. I think we still got this. We're going after him this time around instead of him. We should probably switch that up, actually. Uh, let's, let's disable this ship here, though, first. And then we'll go after him instead, since he's going to be down for a turn. Uh, let's try to slow him down, too. It didn't work for Sars slowing him down, but um, we got him almost dead. There's a nice attack. Alright, this guy's gonna come back in at any minute. 
So let's keep hammering. Slow him down before he gets a chance. Uh, he's still gonna get one shot off. Okay. I think it's time to heal back if we can. Uh, there we go. Like I said, we're gonna have a couple battles ahead of us, so every little bit helps. Let's cloak for you for now. Heal back a little bit for you. Um, I'm gonna heal back again for you. Let everybody heal back. Let you heal back as well. And then... Backstab Maneuver, even though it's it's not going to do the ship disable, it does still does a lot of damage. Nice. 368, holy cow. Yeah. Alright, so a little, little, little bad, but not, not terribly. Commander, we were able to isolate a number of human life sites. I'm coming from Asteris Moon. The Asteris Moon Hellborn Mine at coordinates 1GHQ12. If we can hold off the crew for a while longer, we should be able to telebeam them aboard. Otherwise, we'll need to abandon the truth of fate. Okay, let's fight through to the moon and uh, keep hammering on these guys. We're okay. We're, we're still good. We're still in great shape. Uh, now's the time I might consider using that move here. Uh, let's first of all, let's try to disable one of these ships here. These, this one's the one that worries me the most. And if we can disable him, that'd be perfect. Okay, cool. And then secondarily, I would probably disable him. Now we're gonna go after the healer here first. The Cedar might have a healer move as well. Uh, yeah, they can actually do all allies healing. So we want to make sure he dies first, I think. Uh, which is not typical for this this type of battle. I'm going to try to hold off on that move. I think we can get through this match without it. We're going to try not to do it. Cool, we got lots of stuff we can exploit now on him. Um... Let's get, keep going with this then. Exploit the hull breach. Ooh, yeah. See that move? I don't like that move. And he's got to heal all too there, so we got to be aware of that. Resisted the engines down. Ooh, now see we're getting some combos from them going on. Got to be aware of that too. It's tempting to use the drone swarm here, but we're going to hold off on that for now. Let's keep sticking with what we know. Oh, that's not enough. That's not nearly enough damage. Okay. Um, we can exploit the senators offline for some massive damage, though. And there's his healing. For 200, probably. Yeah. It's over time, though. It's a delayed healing, so that's at least a little window for us. Let's do some protection. And then... Oof, that's still a strong attack. Holy cow. Please kill him. Oh, please kill him. All right, one down. The one that's danger, the way dangerous one down, first of all here. Now let's start working on you, disabled, and then we're gonna take out, should probably take out the healers first, I imagine. Just because they can cause all kinds of problems for us. Uh, so, going after him, he's still got that healing effect going on. And let's disable. Oh, he's still got the the uh, protection on for the disable move here. 276, not a bad attack though. All right, so we got a lot we can exploit on him quick. Not bad, he missed. That's a good attack. Ooh, massive hit there. All right, hull. All right, boys. Still not pulling all the taps. I'm not sure if there's a second battle after this or not. Um, let's try to disable his ship now that he can be disabled. Okay. And then we just got to take this one out with a single shot here. Like so. Nice. Oh, man. Almost double his normal attack power on that. And then we got this guy. First of all, we're going to do Siphon Dark Matter 3. Get a bunch of healing back off of this, hopefully. Alright. And then engines down. Flat garage, exploiting that. Nice moves. Let's start thinking about healing back here. Uh, 
Um, can't do that one anymore. Oh, let's do this. I don't want to kill him just yet. He's gonna get one more move here. And hit, probably. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, drone swarm on him. Get some healing back first. Alright, I think that's gonna have to do it. That's all the, all the attacks we're gonna get, I think. Uh, actually, no, we can do this. Targeting support. Get a little more healing over time done. Just to maximize everything. And now it's gonna be time to uh, finish it off here. Alright, cool. Not too worse for wear. And if there is one more round of battle, at least we have that that massive move to do right off the bat. Commander Real beat him, uh, the beating the Asteris mining crew aboard. We initially began prepping to warp jump out of here, but then we were informed that their leader, the legendary inventor Zulfax Maddox, is still trapped down there. Uh, in order to try to save him, we will first need to deal with another, even tougher, cruel fleet. However, if we don't rescue him now, we won't be able to later. Try to save him. We got uh, we got our backup move here. Oh God. Uh, might not be enough. Might not be enough. Alright, this time around, I'm thinking we take him out first. This is going to be quite the fight, though. Uh, and then next is him attacking, so we're going to try to disable him too. Usually it fails the first round. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope, no such luck. Ooh, yeah. That's some, that's some, that's some heavy duty damage. Okay, so we have our own moves up our sleeve though. Um, we can cauterize Hull on him with, uh, with his next move. So let's do the drone swarm and get this damage out there. Cause this will definitely help. All right. And then cauterize Hull on him. That was a good combo. Whatever they did just now. That, that, that cannon's no joke. And same with this is going to exploit for a ton of damage. Oh my God. Okay. Cauterize Hull again. We need to start taking one of these guys out, though. Hopefully the damage over time will do it. Um, let's get his engines down if we can. Taking him out is going to be massively helpful here. He's enraged. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we need the, we need the protective field on. That's what we need right now. All right, now we need some healing pretty soon, but... Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep trying to kill this guy if we can. And then I'm going to try to heal back a little bit. He's going to get a turn followed by him. We're not getting any luck with evasions right now. Oh, nice evasion though. That was good. All right, as I said that, we got uh, one, finally. Our last cauterize. I think we got to use it on him right now. Because he's, he's got potentially a massive hit coming up here. Um, if we can't deal with that. Targeting support would be huge. Let's do that. And how much is he going to heal back? It's going to be over time. Alright, we need to kill him fast. I'm going to save this move, though. We're going to stick to... Uh, these for now. I don't want him healing back, so I'm going to try to save him, actually. Because he could heal him, and then that's not going to be helpful. And I'm going to try to disable his ship now. And oh, actually, should I? no, we can't do that one. Ah, uh, boy. Um, let's do this and try to disrupt their aiming. That worked. Hopefully, it misses. Nice. There we go. That's why we do it. Yeah, this is the first time I'm actually worried in a long time here. How bad is it? Uh, let's do this one. This should kill him. There we go. Okay, one down. And a massive attack coming up on him now. So let's get this going here. We got a couple moves before he, if he goes again, so we could be actually potentially kill him before that chance happens. Uh, damage over time is going to take him out. We're going to just trust that's going to happen. Or do we want to just... Eh, let's not take the risk. Yeah. Because sometimes they'll attack before the damage over time hits. How bad is that going to be? Pretty bad. We don't have anything else we can do with this guy, though. We just got to keep hammering it. And uh, inflict hull breach if we can. So probably heal back here shortly. That's a good attack. Uh, let's get this field back up to protect ourselves from any damage. We do get a couple turns now. Even if he knocks us out completely, uh, we'll get like a, a last uh, last stand moment here. So we we can we can still survive even if he kills one of our ships here right now. All right, nice. Oh man. Hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully this uh, Zolgareff or whatever is uh, worth it. 
So we were able to beam up Zulfquar Zulf, Zulf, Maddox. It is time to get out of here. Return to Halcyon 6, absolutely. Um, destroy Cruel Cedar. We got a lunch, lot of reward for that one. And uh, this is returning home currently. Cool. Let's bring them home. Reputation gained. More evasion, awesome. We got a lot of materials there. That means tier 3 is on the way. Return home. The destruction we found at New Terra was, in a word, total. We can only imagine the kind of instantaneous cross-dimensional attack that made this devastation possible. The threat we're facing with these cruels, unlike any other we faced, and though it may be hard to comprehend, we are all that's left of the once peerless Federation Navy. We do have one reason to celebrate. We managed to rescue Zulf... Zulfurk... Zulfquar... Zulfkar... Zulf Maddox, the legendary inventor, who was commanding a team of engineers on the Asteris moon when the attack struck. Perhaps with other legendary officers too out there, clinging to survival, waiting to be rescued. For now, all we can do is hope to protect the few remaining Federation facilities, facilities still active, build up our fleet, and push back against the Cruel Armada. So we got a new engineering guy. Oh, well, we already have one that's pretty cool. He is better though, because he has an extra move. He has this EMP overcharge, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think we can have him replace Synax, though. Let's select Officer, yeah. So he got promoted up to level 4 right away. Um, he has this epic move here, though. Man, okay, so he could definitely be the captain of the B team. Unfortunately, we just hired Ripley to be the captain there. And I don't know what else to do with this guy. So, Ripley, I should have went with somebody else besides you. Uh, I hate to say that you're unfortunate, but I kind of think you are. Uh, I don't think we can, like, dis disband officers here. We can't just swap, swap them out, even though we're probably not going to use them at all. Um, we could send them off to die someplace, but that's going to be unfortunate. So, maybe we'll just have an extra officer sitting around here. Maybe we can do engineering stuff if we get him leveled high enough. He might be able to do some stuff around here. Like, let's take a look here quick at the cadet barracks. Let's do uh, physical training. Let's add an officer. Let's add uh, Ripley to that. Four days for some... Bonus training? Sure. Confirm task. Let's get him doing something around here. So that's maybe what we'll use him for. Uh, and then we can use him in the actual ships. Zulf Maddox. Uh, what are we going to give you? What are we gonna, moves are we going to give you? Ramming speed? Quick tune-up for sure, yeah. Want that one. Um, yeah, let's do ramming speed too. The quick tune-up can kind of counteract the effects of a... Hull breach if it happens. And let's do this one right away, too. We'll keep him off the ground, probably. So yeah, now we're going to have to get the B team up up to speed here. As we make tier 3 ships, we should be able to move these guys into tier 2 ships. And then they'll have a nice strong fleet as well that can take care of some of the threats around here. Speaking of, we have all of the research necessary for tier 3 right now, so we should probably just do that. And then see where the hangar is at for that. We need level 7 officers, which we have 3 of now. And let's take a look and see what the hangar will cost us for a, a tier 3 hangar. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3 would be perfect right here if we can explore this room here. Requires a commander. Synax could be that person. Okay, we'll send Synax in there to deal with that. Uh, Alright, let's advance the time. While we're waiting on that to finish, we'll make sure we have enough um, energy to build that. Take 1600 materials. Can't quite build it yet. We don't have the power yet either. 20 would be... No, we have just barely enough power to do it. Okay, cool. Um, that's great, because then we, can, then we can research the next power upgrade after that. Cool, let's advance the time here. In the meantime, we could send out the next fleet here. Okay, let's swap out... Uh, let's swap out the Oktoberfest for... Um, let's put uh, Zulf in charge of that one. And uh, let's send those guys on the runabout here quick to go deal with that. I don't think actually she's available, is she? She's researching, isn't she? Yeah, okay, never mind. Well, I guess we'll call the episode there. We'll Actually, we'll just advance the time here a few days. Um, let the crew start formulating a new plan for us. And uh, show location. Okay, cool. Um, neural upgrades it provides even more benefit. Another level 04 officer duty. Okay, we could do that actually pretty easily here. Uh, once, once Zulf, not Zulf, but once... Uh, once uh, Ripley finishes up what he's doing, we can put him on here, and it'll probably take a few days, but it'll be worth it. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be just, just dandy. Only two hundred bucks for that too. We could probably do it. Then again, we need to save our pennies to get the, that tier three hangar going. 
and then we can start making tier three ships. They're, they're expensive, man. Uh, it does take some time, but we should have plenty of cruel to fight in the near future. That should provide us all of the dark matter we need. So I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Halcyon 6. I'll be back for another one very soon. We're on to bigger and better things, approaching the end of Act 1 here very soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the series still, and I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night.